Do you like the river walk? Oh yeah, I like the river walk. I need a Chinese stand up here so I can get some food. <laughs> <laughs> Super agitated because my cat got out. I'm having a bad time. I hate this place. Park. Yeah. Park sucks balls. I can't put that in a video, but it sucks. It does. It sucks ball. I got sewer right next to my water. That's normal, but there's like sewer water coming out of the sewer. It, it might be in my water. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't know. I don't know. It's like. Yeah. Just wanted to relax, but it's like this is run down garbage dump. So I don't know. Just expecting more. That's why it's thirty-five dollars. They wanted to rip you off, but not too hard. I wouldn't even complain if I didn't see brown water. How the sewer pipe is just a bunch of brown water coming out and a big puddle next to it. So. Yeah. And they put us in a fifty amp, so we had to call them, and they were like, "Do you need a converter?" And we were like, "Yeah." <laughs> and they were like, "Okay, well, we'll send someone," which was nice of them, but still, like. You're lucky they didn't get my money back. I wanted to leave. They were like five minutes away from losing me. And I should still lose me. I should still leave. But I'm tired. I still want to. <laughs> and then Mochi got out. I squeezed her. Uh, she says, home. <laughs> my people. So after that horrible experience, we wound up in San Antonio. Um, definitely a beautiful city. Uh, very clean along the interstates. Def I didn't see any trash at all. Um, we went to the Riverwalk, which was highly recommended from everybody I spoke to about it. Um, enjoyed some food there. Um, some things to note that it's a, it's a little bit tight on the Riverwalk in the, you know, the more populated area where they have the stands and such. So just be ready to kind of like walk past people. You got like a foot, you're going to fall into water. Uh, we enjoyed some barbecues, some local beer, um, some sights, snuck into a hotel. Uh, yeah, everything that you could want to do in San Antonio. It, we, we enjoyed it. The Alamo's there. Uh, we saw all the different missions. We actually took one day to bike the entire walk, or all the missions on the walk, I guess I should say, and enjoyed this magic man dancing. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about Camping World. Like, we had to go to Camping World for the first time ever on a, on a stinking trip, and I talked to some guy for five minutes. Nobody said anything about me getting charged $80. And I walked inside to square up with the lady. I was going to buy a $10 part. She's like, it'll be $80 plus the part. I was like, what? Why? What did I do? What did you do? Why do I need to give you $80? And she's like, that's the minimum charge. I was like, that's five minutes. You just went out there. You didn't even do what I asked you to do. So they're trying to sell me this. You know, they want to replace the whole plug for my trailer. Which isn't very hard looking. And um, I don't even know if it could get done in a day. So I told him no when I was out there. But then I started thinking, oh, I've already owed him $80. Might as well let him do it. And then I was like, I'm not going to do it unless you check what I asked you to check. And then they went down there and it wasn't it wouldn't even fix it. So they charged me $80, lied to me about what would have fixed it. I have a terrible experience with Camping World. I don't ever go back. This is a terrible mm -hmm. place. Uh, no, I'm just upset right now. $80 is gone for no reason. That's yeah. all. That's my rent. This is so pretty. The birds. Do you like the river walk? Oh yeah, I like the river walk. I need a Chinese stand up here so I can get some food. <laughs> <laughs> Sun, 
Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Show them what I saw. Alright, show them what you've seen. It's Dustin's friend. <laughs> I'm gonna tattoo happy. him. For the vlog, do Catholic churches creep you out? No, I think they're really cool. I think all this is really cool. Like this, this is this is really really cool. You don't think their music is kind of scary? Uh, Makes me feel like Hunger Games. <laughs> If you're in San Antonio, definitely bike the river walk. Dustin, well, both of us really can't shift gears. I'm stuck in third. Dustin's stuck in six. <laughs> See? Going up heels. Yeah. Heels suck. It's a good workout, though, I guess. Yeah. You want me to put mine in six? No. So it's fair? No, don't do it. We love San, San Antonio, don't we? Beautiful, beautiful city. At least what we saw. We only saw a piece of it. But it's, everything was clean. That's the cleanest city I've ever been in San Antonio. Yeah, me too. But Dustin wants to give you the three things that he's learned on this road trip. Yeah, three things that I learned in the last three days. Okay, number one. When, uh, when you're really, really tired, you need to stop. And you go into your, your uh, next camp, camping place. Um, you take your exit, it says 25 miles an hour, you should probably take it at 25 or less. Don't, <laughs> don't take it at 48 or something like I did. Um, yeah, which I did the first time, but... He almost tipped our camper. That was the first time that I ever heard the wheels. <laughs> like, and then I was like in the mid-turn, I was like, I'm gonna die. The house is flipping over. <laughs> okay, our uh, camper's like, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Two <laughs> wheels. Funny. Yeah, don't do that. So, yeah. That's the first thing that I learned. The next thing that I learned uh, when we were in San Antonio is uh, when we were reading reviews about campsites, uh, this particular place, like it was RV park, had some negative reviews, like a couple in a row, but it, it was all like the old owners were better, the old owners were better, this crazy hippie people were out there. Like, After the, the people from California came, they ruined this RV park, and it just seemed like a bunch of maybe like salty locals. So, um, but it was the one of the cheapest ones, and it was only like 20 minutes from uh, like downtown San Antonio. It had all the hookups. It was nice. I liked it a lot. It had a nice, like an old tree, like a cool tree for Mochi to be looking at birds in. And... It was really clean. They had really good laundry services, and it was it was really nice. And we were both gonna put good reviews on it because it's just like people are ridiculous yeah the lady that we walked when I first went in and met the lady that we talked to on the phone she was super nice the two hippie people they're talking about I can tell who they're talking about but they were super cool I mean they came out there gave us the adapter uh, fixed it up spoke to us they were really funny um, I, I don't know why anybody would complain about them so yeah so don't always trust the reviews go sometimes you gotta give it a chance you know and I'm glad that we did because I got to see two cool people 
a really nice park and Mochi got to enjoy her time in San Antonio there and I guess the last thing that I want to talk about is when you go to the Riverwalk in San Antonio it's beautiful all those missions there's five missions right Alora or am I wrong yeah so he's not talking about the river walk with the bars and restaurants that's not as I don't we're, like that as much but that's cool too yeah we're talking the, about the real river walk like, like the the mission trail yeah so when you go there and I think you probably should bike it or walk it or whatever you want to do I think that was probably a good way to save money enjoy your time out there see you just see nice people. Everybody on that whole trail was nice. Yep, they're yeah. all nice. And yeah, all the missions are free, so. Definitely was... a good good thing to do while you're there. <laughs> yeah. Um, wear sunscreen. Wear, wear, don't just wear sunscreen. We wore sunscreen. Wear a lot of sunscreen. We And we <laughs> wore a lot of sunscreen. And like, wear more than a lot of sunscreen because we, had, we applied like four times and we're still burnt. Yeah, like all the like your backpack straps and stuff, just take off the sunscreen, then you got a red stripe on you. I also have a bonus tip because I just thought about it, and it's pretty important. If you're gonna bike the trail, which you can rent bikes there, they're electric bikes. I heard people, you know, like mumbling about like these are crappy bikes, but um, you know, you can do that if you bring your own bike. Make sure you can use the different gears because we took yeah. our bikes and we only had I was in sixth and I think Alora was in fourth most of the trail. Yeah. Which isn't fun going up the hill, but it's great going down. So that's my tips. If you're going to San Antonio, do the river walk. Don't you don't use your Walmart Huffy. Yeah, I mean, if you do, <laughs> at least make sure. The gears used to work. I don't know. Make sure the gears are working. Mine jammed up while we were there, though. So I don't know how I don't know how you could prevent that. I don't know. we got to learn more about bikes. Yes, yeah, so that, that's our goals. But that's what we've done. We went to San Antonio. It's the city looks beautiful. Uh, the river walk was awesome. All the missions were honestly awesome. But yeah, watch, thanks for watching the update, y'all. Like yeah. the lost out. <laughs> <laughs>